hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another tutorial on git so uh, before i start this uh, topic uh, what i'm going to talk about in this tutorial let's just do a small recap recap on the previous video we have done on uh, git tutorial right so in the previous tutorial we discussed about git github and gitlab so if you have not seen that uh, video please have a look on my channel or i will link it on the video description so uh, we have spoke about git which is a version control system okay so as part of uh, scm or software configuration management git is one of the popular version control software and we also said uh, git is not same as uh, github or so github you know is a repository hosting service or a collaboration platform where you can store this uh, uh, git repositories and you can collaborate with people okay and the same thing like GitLab. So GitLab is also a report repository hosting service, same as GitHub, but it have more uh, features of DevOps and CI/CD. GitHub also have uh, CI/CD options with some add-ons, uh, and uh, as I said, the GitHub is more popular than GitLab. Okay. So now uh, also we discussed about how Git uh, and GitHub and GitLab are related, right? How the uh, code or things are getting stored when there is a developers working on the code and they will have their own versions created and you know we have a remote repository which can be a github gitlab or bitbucket or svm which can be any uh, kind of repository and there can be a master branch from there these versions can be pulled or pushed right and uh, on the locally on the user machine you will have a local repository and working directory and uh, how the data is uh, edited in the working directory and which get committed to local repository right and which can be pushed into the master branch so we discussed about all these things and we also spoke about how it can be a feature branch from the master branch which will be used by developers so i would say like you just have a look on the previous tutorial to get more information on that now if we come to in this video what we are going to specifically do is this is will be a very uh, short video and very easy one what we are going to do is we are going to set up uh, or we are going to install uh, and configure git on windows and linux so the git will help you to uh, you know do the versioning or version control of your software or code and which can be pushed into the github or gitlab or any kind of re remote repository so what we will do in this step is like we'll go to uh, git scm.com we'll download the git exe for respective windows we will install it so once we install it on windows you will get uh, an options like git bash git cmd or git gui so these are the options which you will get as part of the installation and we'll also do the installation on centos using yum install git and ubuntu as apt get install git so in this video i will do it for uh, centos uh, and uh, windows and uh, you know um, we'll uh, ubuntu you can just run the same kind of command like apt get install git so before I get into the real uh, process, I will request you to click on the subscribe button. So if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed, just click on subscribe button and like this video, share and comment. So in order to install Git on your Windows uh, client or Windows laptop or desktop, whichever you want have it, just go to this site git-scm.com uh, and you will have an option called download. So you click on uh, download and you will have options like mac uh, windows linux so you can click on windows and uh, you'll be getting options which windows version you want to install it will default uh, you know you download the exe version which uh, you know uh, you can uh, you'll be uh, applicable for your windows okay so i have already downloaded and i have uh, the git exe so i will double click on it or i will run the uh, exes uh, which is downloaded for git So you have to click on yes on the prompt, okay, and uh, you have to follow the instructions. So it will ask you to accept the license agreement. So you can read through the license agreement. Uh, if you have any questions, you can click on next, okay, and you can select the, by default, it will have already selected the option. So it will install an icon on the desktop, okay, and it will install the uh, git bash and git gui, okay, and you can click on next and uh, here you can select the option which uh, you know uh, editor you want to make it as a default editor for git it can be wim or if you want the visual studio code 
you can select that and if you don't have visual studio install you can uh, download it from here okay so i will uh, keep it as a uh, default uh, vim itself okay and i will click on next and uh, i will keep this option as, as a default let git decide and uh, here i will select this recommended option because it says you know you can have a way path which will be set for git bash okay so you can use it from git bash or command prompt or even powershell okay so I will keep it to the recommended option okay and uh, I will use uh, open SSH here and uh, here as well open SSL library and uh, this checkout uh, you know uh, you can read through it if you want you can use use the other option as uh, you require I will keep it as checkout as window style okay and I click on next and here it's also I will keep uh, this option so it's more of a step by step uh, just next next so it'll keep it on next and uh, git credential manage these are some new uh, options came up okay so i'm not using the symbolic link i'll keep it as enable file system caching and uh, no i'm not going to use this okay and i have to click on install so uh, i have already done this installation so i'm going to cancel this okay Since I have already installed, I have the git bash icon over here, so I will double click on it. So uh, you can see the git bash already is opened up. Okay, and uh, the benefit is like the git bash, you can use like uh, Linux command. So if I see ls, uh, it's giving me the options, right? And uh, we will talk about the other git commands uh, in the upcoming tutorial. Let's see uh, how the git uh, GUI will look like. So if you open uh, git gui this is how it will uh, look like for git gui where you can create uh, new repositories clone uh, existing repositories open uh, existing repositories okay so it's simply you know these uh, two options which you need to have it uh, for git and other uh, benefit is like uh, now you have a normal command prompt in windows right so you can uh, even use git from here as well so if i just run the git uh, over here it shows like the default commands which we can use so we'll talk about all these commands in the upcoming tutorial so i just want to show like git is available and you can also see the git version using git version okay so you can see it showing the git uh, version 2.26.2 windows uh, client so you have a git bash installed now and git gui also available so we'll be more working on git bash in the upcoming uh, tutorials let's see how we can install git on uh, CentOS machine so i have a CentOS machine here so in to install git it's pretty simple you have to use yum install git okay and just wait for uh, the installation to complete it so uh, it's it will be pretty uh, quick because uh, depending upon the network speed okay uh, so it may ask you for uh, you know some prompt uh, if it, it needs some action so we just we need to wait so you can click on yes uh, since uh, we have not uh, forced it in the yum install command itself you can use yum install git hyphen y as well so it will not ask you for prompt so you can see git is installed so let me clear out the screen so if i give git version you can see the git version for linux so it's 1.8.3.1 okay so this is different from what is there on the windows so similar way for Ubuntu, what you need to do is just uh, run apt-get install git. Uh, if it's uh, the user account is not on the root, if you want to run on elevated, just use sudo as well, sudo apt-get install git. Same here in CentOS as well, you use sudo yum install git. So that's all, uh, it's a pretty simple process to install git. So now we have the git bash and git ready. If you want to make use of that for uh, you know, versioning uh, the process. So that's all for this tutorial okay so it's just a setup process we, ha we have done it so in the upcoming tutorial we will make use of this uh, git bash git commands and we will see how to create repositories in the remote uh, github or gitlab and we also see how to clone the repositories how you can commit how you can initialize so a lot of things we will see in the upcoming tutorial so i hope this tutorial is informative for you thank you for watching Kindly subscribe to my channel, like the video, share and comment.